Aloha, my internet family. How are you? Welcome back to Practical Printing. Joe Mike over at 3DKC, also JMT on YouTube, sent me over one of his pre-pinned Raspberry Pi Zero kits that he is uh, selling and providing for using with the INC board on the Prusa Mark III. So I thought I would take the opportunity to share with you guys the installation process and see how easy it is to get this onto your printer. Ready? Let's do it. Okay, so when you receive your kit from 3DKC, it's going to come in a box like this, maybe in outer packaging. And inside, let me show you what you're going to find. You're going to get a card with directions on it on how to install it and pointing you to their website for more information, more details. You have a couple of JMT stickers. If you purchase the option with the pre-configured Octopi SD card, that'll be in there as well. And you will receive the Pi Zero packaged up nicely with a bonus of the mini bag of Haribos. And you will get your Pi Zero in an ESD safe bag with the pins already soldered on and with the Pi spacer already installed. Uh, note here, now this came with a black one from Joe Mike. I actually printed the blue to match the other upgrades I'm going to do on the printer. But I guess uh, colors may vary, huh? So let's set these other items aside. We'll leave that out. And let's go back and look at what we're going to need to do the upgrade here. So technically you don't need to print any other parts because this is included, but it's highly recommended to replace the electronics housing here. Let me rotate that around so that you can see that. Now it's highly recommended that you replace the electronics housing here, there's two different models available on Thingiverse. But what they do is on this back piece is the Pi will mount to the back of the control board inside of here. So the updated pieces will look something like this, where you have a pop-out door that allows you to access the Pi. And because I'm upgrading mine to uh, all blue, I'm going to be uh, swapping these components in. Actually, before we go too far into ripping it apart, let me show you this other housing. There's two housings available on Thingiverse. The first one I just showed you a second ago had was a toolless case. This one is a little bit different here. Um, if I can get it to zoom. This one uses two screws here to hold the door on, uh, as opposed to the little spring latch on the first piece that I showed you. However, the difference is this one has a cutout so that you can run a camera cable through it should you choose to use a Pi camera with it. So we're going to go ahead and use this case instead. Uh, so I'm going to just set the door aside from now. And as I said, let's go ahead and start popping this apart and I'll show you what needs to be done inside of here. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to snip the wire ties and pull those out. Like so. Okay, now we're going to pop the screw here. That's going to open this front door. And we're going to pull that out and set it aside. Um, it's worth mentioning that if you have not yet received your Mark III, 
This can be done as part of the original installation process. Um, all you do is substitute the printed case that you provide yourself for the, for the case that's available online. Okay, so now we have the door in these two hinges. So we're going to go ahead and remove that. There's a screw at the top and a screw at the bottom. get this in here. I think I'm going to bring this other camera up full screen so that you're just looking at the boom instead of me. Okay. So now that we have that there, we can start looking at backing off these. What we're going to want to do is unwrap few lengths of the wire tie here and there's the nylon that goes in there so that's going to loosen that up and we're just going to slide that down the bottom and we're going to try to do the same thing with the top piece here And we're just going to try to slide that out of the hole and release the stiffening cable. Okay. The hope here is that I can release this control board and take it off without having to undo all of the wiring. So there's two screws up in these two upper corners. And there are two screws down here at the bottom, which are a little bit more difficult to get to. Okay, with that out, there are two screws on this back side here need to get access to to pop this thing off or to get the full case off and now we can just remove the screws and any nuts that are still attached to this case so that we can set them aside and use them on the new case. Okay, so at this point, we have the old case removed and set aside. We have the board just dangling here. Now we're going to take the back piece for the new case and we're going to look at fitting everything back up to uh, see how it's going to, to go back on there. Is there's these additional holes here that allow you to, those nuts that I struggled with, this is going to allow you to be able to get access to those theoretically a little bit easier. So we're gonna go ahead and fit our nuts into the back of this thing that hold the board on. And again, if you are just building your MK3 for the first time, all you do is substitute this case for the Prusa provided case. If you have any nuts that don't want to go down, you can just use a set of needle nose to squish them in, or you can thread the nut in 
so, I'm sorry, the screw in from the other side. Okay, those are all in. So now let's hang this case back up. Okay, now that you have the new case there, now we can have the screw that I dropped out side, set that over here. Now that we have the new case on, we can slide the electronics very carefully back up inside. and start putting our four screws back into it to hold it on. And four down. Excellent. Now here comes the fun part. Now we get to take this T nylon back into the hole. Drop those back inside. And wrap that bundle. And the underside of it there. And we get to do the same thing with this side. Get our wire ties in here. Hmm, might have to revisit this top one. I believe there's still some uh, support somehow inside of that hole, but we can do this bottom one. Now all that's left to do is put the door on And there we have it. We should now be able to close the door. And I had not removed the nut from the other door yet, but I'm just going to slide the bolt in there for now. I don't want to tighten this up. There's another nut that goes in this hole here, which is on the other door. So let's pull that out. It is a square nut. And it looks square. That's in. I'm just going to loosely tighten this for now. Okay, now here's where the fun part starts. Let's rotate this back around. Okay, so at this point we've went ahead and replaced the case. Uh, the only step that I skipped there was wire tying this top bundle just because 
there's something uh, stuck in that cable pass, so I'm going to need to get a uh, something a little bit stiffer to try to to get whatever support is still in there out, possibly uh, a piece of stiffer piece of wire or something. So I'll come back to that on my own. But for now, it's time to put on the main event. At this point, all you do is you can see the holes here where the pie will go on. And it's only going to fit in one direction. And that will just snap on there like so. And you are done. If you'd opted for the case with the, uh, the toolless one, you just snap your cover on. If you have this case that I have, it's going to take two more, uh, two more screws inside of here. The door will just fit in like that. There we go. And you'll uh, screw that down. And your Pi is now installed. Now all you need to do is follow the directions on the website to make sure that you have the correct firmware installed and then turn on the serial communications over to your your Pi um, your Pi Zero. And that is it. I want to thank Joe Mike over at 3DKC for sending this over to me. I look forward to playing with it and putting it through its paces and seeing if I can break the custom image on there. And feel free to check out Joe Mike's site. That's 3DKC.com and the back here. I'm sorry, 3DKC.net, not .com, .net. And this will be down in the description if you'd like to check out his kit that he has available for everyone. All right, so that's it. I'd like to thank you all very much. We'll see you next time on Practical Printing. Aloha.